Hey guys, hello, welcome back to part four of the video series. In today's video, we are going to look how to determine the dimension or area of the grid to be used in this analysis, as well as to do the regional and residual separation. And lastly, we look at how to extract the spectral blocks that we use for the spectral analysis from, the, from which we carry out the Kirui depth estimation. So first of all, we are going to determine the dimension or the area of the grid to be used because in this work, we are going to use only one grid. Then the next, we'll see how to do the regional and residual separation and later how to extract the spectral blocks. So in our last video, in our previous video, we're able to create the story area for the grid to be used for our analysis and here it is and this is the map if we open the map under layout study area map we have this now we want to determine now we want i'm sorry Now we want to determine the area of our study area bounded by this square box. So what we are going to do, we are going to off these layers, off these layers, then we are left with this. Now the next thing is to calculate the area of this. As you can see, it's in meters so what we do on the study area boundary we right click then open the attribute table then we navigate to this point um yeah open field calculator now we call it uh let me say dimension because this is actually a square grid dimension call it a dimension then we give the out field type as decimal real numbers then under here we select let's see we select under geometry we select we double click on area so now this is the area so what we need the area is in, in meter square so we need to uh, we need to convert it to kilometer square so we know that 1000 meters is one kilometer so we have to divide by one million two three four five six then we close bracket that is in kilometers square then we take square root you click on this then square root open bracket one divide by two close bracket as you can see it's down here you can see down here under preview 54.99 then click ok enter then scroll to the right you can see it there is around so this is the value which you can copy let's go back to open a word document so do you say the dimension dimension is this which you know is roughly when you approximate it's going to give you 55 kilometers by 55 kilometers so and this is the area of our grid use so this how to calculate the area you right click open the attribute table then there you click on the field calculator then you under geometry double click area divide by one million open and close bracket then take the square root that will give you it the dimension of it so so that's how we determine the area the dimension of our study area so by the time you multiply this by this you're able to get the area so this is the dimension the, the grid is a one grid we use which is 55 kilometer by 55 kilometers so this dimension of the grid use now let me close this now let me open a sample publication here is one investigation of geothermal energy potential of part of central and northeastern Nigeria and using spectral analysis technique. It's just similar to what we are going to do, but using different sheet. 
in this work if we move down to methodology let's see what we have you can see the high resolution magnetic data sheet which consists of sheet 102 so they have it so they use a large number of sheet one two many sheet the reason is that the larger this the sheet the more depth of penetration you can investigate but here this work is just for you to show you how to go about this kind of an analysis how to investigate how to investigate the geothermal potential of an area using spectral analysis so in reality you need more sheet but for this 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 is this this video series is a, is a demonstration to show you how to go about the analysis so it's left for you now to get many sheets so that you can investigate as many as possible so you can see they have the so large number of sheet as you can see if we read down here you can see uh the sheet use about this mini sheet to use then um let me see so let me open the other one again so here is another one here also you have investigation investigating geothermal energy resource potential in part of southwestern nigerian using aeromagnetic data so it's also another one let's go stroll down to the made materials and methods under materials and method you can see the aeromagnetic survey we have flown at a at a line space you know 500 meter at a terrain clearance of this at a map scale of this each sheet has an area of 55 kilometer 50 kilometers so this is what exactly we get we use one sheet and this is the dimension of the sheet which what we get exactly okay but in their own they use 15 sheet so if you multiply that 15 sheet by this multiply by this you get 45,375 kilometers so the larger the size the more depth of penetration you are able to investigate so that is the essence but for this work we're not going to use a large number of sheet we only use one to show you how to go about it so this is what exactly we are going to do to show you how to go about this so you can see this is the TMI map then they have the residual and the regional and also if you look here this is the TMI the residual and the spectral block so these are the three things we are going to do here to show you how to go about this okay so and that is what we are actually going to do so let's head over to oya's montage which we have the under grids right click add grids the grid we use here is this eight so this is our grid we have now we want to get the tmi now you can see this is actually our grid that we have is already been projected in the utm in the projected coordinate system so from this map what we are going to do is for us to do to so you can nice in meters now we have to do the regional and residual separation so what we have to do since it gets selected we're going to grid grid an image then under utilities uh, no filters grid and image under filters then move to trend under trend we input this which is 80 the grid is this and output grid we call it the residual then you click ok because we are removing a regional trend we want to remove a regional trend of one so therefore we will get rid of the path pictures so we apply the regional of the um of train of train one plane surface of train one so that we get rid of the deeper features so we click uh okay so this is the residual tmi we obtain this one is the other one if we click on the windows tile vertically you can see the difference here you can see over down here there is a little drop of colors here so you can see the difference if you look through by this we are coming to the one come to the interpretation so let's close this close this one now let's open the residual so this is the residual we have so this is the residual then from this residual we want to get actually the trend how to get to right click on it then on the properties then click on start 
then trend so this is where we have so these are the values we get let me open notepad open notepad so our trend uh, regional trend is going to be our value of um, CX so you now what, what we are going to do let me see so let's take a screenshot snip so let's take a screenshot of this so we can use it later then save this on the desktop Re residual regional we close then close this one so now we have this as our residual then now what remains is to get the original how do we get the original then under grid and image then we have grid math under grid math we are going to subtract the residual from this so the g not we call it call it regional then here we say insert values then we put mine operators we set minus then insert another one this become g1 g2 now let's identify what g1 is down here g1 is our tmi which is 80 this is our tmi then the g2 which is our residual so subtracting the residual from the tmi give us the original then click ok as you can see this is the our regional um map uh, our regional grid we have so now we need to plot this so what we are going to do we need first to reproject it in the geographic coordinate system reproject grids let me select the regional next it's already in the utm then click ok then now we'll give it a name so i'll call it regional lat lat long is l a lat long then next then click on geographic ok we have click on this button finish so we have our map so now let's remove this regional utm from our project then let's move to the to the residual under the residual then we need to reproject grids residual this next okay they will give it a similar name residual lat long then we have uh, next geographic okay click finish so this is what we have so we're going to leave the residual because we're going to use for the spectral blocks then for the tmi we also need to reproject it in geographic coordinate system field utilities reproject grids then let's select i'm sorry let's go back cancel let's go back and select the tmi the next double check is in projected utm utm then click ok then give it a name tmi that long click next then finally on geographic okay then click finish so this is what we have now we can remove this budget so we don't need it again now what we have is a regional list this and that so now we are going to create the maps for these ones let's start with the tmi first let's create the map new map uh, we should say scan grid we we'll select this grid with tmi tmi ll then next then scale they'll give it to my tmi map then click finish so click on the map tools on the base map on the base map draw base map 
then under the right so you can leave it around five or five you can leave it five the top the left is one and then the right i think you can leave it like this. so so we we'll, we'll leave all the lines annotation P positive x is east so the line none then we'll click uh next tmi map of the study area finish so i'm sorry we made it let cross mistake with your uh, drop base map let's go back one more time next sorry lines you know edge ticks i'm sorry edge ticks so we have a tick at the uh, at the edge of the boundaries then next click finish so so this is what we have and now reposition uh reposition this let's reposition position this the way it is supposed to be so this is what we have from here the founder map tools create an image and display the single grid i will select the grid which is tmi ll then current map so here we have now let's go back to map tools it's create an image display color legend bar uh, we'll give it nano tesla locate so this is where we want it to be and then let's click more and see the decimal place label decimal so you can give it two decimal place I think okay i think we can that is it you can see so this is what we have so we have this double click on this to position it so you can double click to to font properties which you can decrease this to two okay so i think so i think that is it so from there i'll click on the map export jpeg high quality full map okay and under our images we put our tmi click save so, so this is our map drop in i'll get the tmi now let's save our project yes now the map is there so now the next is to is to do the map for the residual the same thing new map scan grid select the grid residual ll okay next scale then we'll call it the residual map click finish and map tools base map draw base map then left is one right is five next st every is okay huh? residual magnetic magnetic intensity magnetic mag magnetic intensity map the story area click finish and under map tools grid and display single grid then residual uh, current map map tools 
color legend bar same thing i know tesla click ok click this to select move it down scale it a little bit so we have this so double click on this one font properties we we'll set it to two click ok okay this way we position it and those drag and position so, so the choice is yours so you can play with it so next thing is to export this map export okay image residual click save then we remove the project there we lastly we have the regional let's take the regional sorry the degree get map new map scan grid then regional the next scale regional map finish and the map tools base map draw base map the right give it five the left one click next next regional magnetic intensity map story area finish under map tools grid and image display single grid select regional current map go back to uh, map tools grid and image display color legend bar tesla and click locate click here then you are done then click on this click then move it down a bit So we have this okay the same thing as before too then click OK so move it down a little bit and move it down a little bit okay I think that's it you can do so many things here then from here we need to so what we are going to do is to bring this save it map export then okay the images i put regional so we have this so as what we have So, so we now have all our three maps so if we go back to open our project under us montage images you can see all our map so here our map this is the regional residual and the tmi so this are we 10 3 so now let's now again uh get our regional trend which is going to be the cx our cx is this value which is minus 0 0.00074 eight nine oh four x x then our cy is minus 
zero point zero 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 three nine zero two seven seven then finally plus C naught which is thirty thirty point six four zero five six three six so so this is what we have so if we open it up here we can now see our regional trend is this and from there if we open our maps our images we can bring uh, Uh, images you can bring the TMI let's bring the residual let's bring the residual map here then let's move to the last one which is the regional save it so yeah yeah we are we able to know that the dimension of this square grid is 55 kilometers of five kilometers from here to 55 kilometers from here to 55 kilometers so this is the map so yes so that's another one so we have our three maps the tmi the re the, the regional train which is this uh, and the map is this and you have the spectra blocks so let's see how we can do the spectra blocks first of all let's save our project so now let's click on this remove project remove from project remove from project then now save now this is now a grid i think it's not this one let's open the residual ll so this is the one we need first so let's remove from the project so that we have only one selected now this is the residual is one we're going to use to divide the same thing you see here and this work where let me see the other one you can see this is say, the residual magnetic system map divided into 40 80 square blocks windows 55 by 5 each from v to 54 so this is what we're going to we're going to divide it and then we try to extract it to block one up to i mean we can like i said they use so many blocks so the larger the blocks the more depth of investigation you can carry it out but in our own is also one block we are using so how are we going to go about this fine so what we are going to do is actually this does a similar way we are going to do it but this time around we go out here uh map mode you can see you put it click in map mode i click on the map tools base map so you can see the base map then this time around want them to be one 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 then next then now i'm going to put solid lines then uh a thickness let me call it 800 and next you can call it spectral spectral blocks map outside here and click finish now you can see let me scroll the two bits now this what we have you can see there's a similar way you have here in this work so now we are going to extract now like we said from here to here is 57 kilometers 57 kilometers so if we take half of this around this point this to this that is this is three one one two three four five let me bring calculator 50 55 divide by one two three four five five so we get 11 kilometers so if we use two of them times two we get 22 
kilometers so our window is going to be 22 kilometers so it's also so if you are going to use more grids you have more room to to investigate more because here you are in the Fourier transform you are using the wavelength so the larger the wavelength the more deeper you are going to be just like when you carry out resistivity survey the, the more the space in between the current electrodes the more deeper you are investigating the same thing with this now you are using wavelength so the larger the wavelength the more depth you are going to investigate so in this so if we are going to use two two of these small blocks yeah, and this size we are going to have roughly 20, 22, 22, 22 kilometers, 22 kilometers. Just similar to what they have done here, but they only use larger, which is of course 55 by 55. Like I said, yeah, we are going to use only one. So now the first block will be from this one to this one. Second block will be from here to here. So our first block will center around here, right? So our first block will be around here, this and this. Second block will be at so our first block will be from this one to this. Second block will be from here to here. Third block will be from here to here. Four blocks. So we are going to have one block. The blocks are going to overlap. Okay. We'll take from here to here one. Then from here to here two. From here to here three. Then from here to here four. Then I've done the that. I'll go up a bit. I'll take from here. From here to here is one. Then I do the ten thing, then two, then four, etc. etc. So this is how we are going to extract the blocks. So this you can see, so these are the ones we are going to start extraction. So first of all, what we are going to do, we do under grid and images, grid and image utilities, window a grid. A window a grid. Then the let's enter is a residual this. And now output grid we need to click here to select the we see our spectral blocks so we are i'm going to call it b1 okay i'm going to call it b1 b1 i'll call it b1 as uh, my spectral blocks b1 click ok then now you clear you see entire we need to add, add the minimum x and you know what you can see is the x which is la longitude and the y with the latitude the minimum x and minimum y just like x1 x2 this y is x uh, x1 x2 y1 y2 so what we need to click interactive so you see define a grid window using the mouse cursor okay so now you, you click here then you are going to drag like this up when you drag up you move it to this edge this is block one 22 kilometers or 22 kilometers there you release the mouth button you can see it there you click ok now this is block one as you can see this is now block one we have extract block one let's go back to the other one now let's extract block two the similar way utilities window a grid window a grid then this amara will call it b2 Make sure it's edit, so then click interactive. Or click OK, then come here to the second one, then click up. This will give me the second block. Click release, then click OK. Now this is the second block. Then let's go to the third one, then grid and image utilities window a grid. Then call this one P3. Then interactive. Then B3 we start from here. Click to drag until you arrive at the other edge. Leave it. Click the mouse button. There you click OK. Now this is our third block. Now go back to the fourth one grid and image utilities window a grid the interactive oh, i'm sorry go back let's go back um, let's go back let's cancel grid and image utilities window a grid let's change it to b4 don't forget the interactive then now the b4 will start from here this will be our b4 click ok you can see our b4 now we'll go to b5 our b5 will start from here 
like this b5 then b6 b7 then b8 you get it so utilities window a grid name this to be five interactive okay then we we'll hold it down here then we'll move to select this window this will give me five okay do so you get it so let, let, let me speed it up So we have 15. So let's go to the 15 side. Uh, I think here is it. 
15 okay then lastly 16 so you 16 click interactive okay you write down from here you click to select this give you 16 and click OK so you can see these are all the grids we have project save so we have all these grids that we have so we have these grids that we are going to use for analysis from grid B1 block 2 up to the other ones we have about 16 of them so in the next video we are going to carry out the spectral analysis from each one of these blocks from there we get the the query depth uh the heat flow and as well the geothermal gradient and uh, the, uh, the temperature gradient so let's remove this from the project then let's save our window let's close all project save so now we have these uh, blocks so now let me add the grids that uh, yes. so now in this one we're going to draw the spectral blocks this one let's take map new map scan grid spectral blocks okay receiver of the receiver okay next so i'll call it the spectral blocks map which we call it the spectral blocks map scale finish the map tools draw base map five left one next three lines okay the next spectral blocks map of the story and then click finish so under map tools oh map tools grid I made display single grid okay current map oh I'm sorry I'm sorry so we need to remove this from there double click on it and click delete and let's go to map tools image single grid need to bring the residual current map the map tools image core legend bar locate then ok click on this to bring it down have this as our so now we need to do a something else let's see we double click on this and so that we can able to type a text there Uh, can now click uh, to write uh, font properties I can call it three give it a color of uh, white click OK and I'll write black one OK click on this to select properties let's call this i think let's give it eight and see 
outside then this is let's double click on the edge position it then let's give it a color of double click font properties let's give it the color black and click ok so click on this ok control c and this is what we have just hold the control down then you move it hold the control down then you drag oh look position it hold the control down you drag it hold the control down you drag it hold the control down you drag hold the control down you drag hold the control down you drag now you drag 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 and then click outside so now let's see I'm um, sorry okay it doesn't copy well click on this so now let me cancel it as if you don't want to take much of your time uh, let me just delete this delete delete so let's not waste much time here so let's move this map up click on this then move it up a bit so now what we're going to do is to just take a snapshot of this snip tool on this save on my desktop spectral blocks stop save So click the project, then save, yes, so now we have all this block, yeah, then we'll go back to this, so this, so this is spectral blocks, so we have the spectral blocks, what we do, we copy this, open powerpoint, control N, then select this and then paste paste the image here yeah. and from this let's see uh, under the insert shape tools uh, this I'm going to put it to be let's say 24 1 1 then we'll give it a fill color of um shape let me see So we give it uh, okay. I think I leave it at this one. Uh, let me see shape fill. <laughs> shape fill. We can give it white. 
So let's control C V. It give you two. And click on this. Click all control that you copy it. All control down. All control down. All control down. Then you drag. All control down. You drag. All control down, you drag. All control down, you drag. Think, think that is the up. So I'll click this again with three. It's become four, um, eight, seven, six, five, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, so we have twelve blocks. Like we can just remove the fill color, no fill, no fill, no fill. Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Feel so, yeah, we are.
So I think that is it sixteen of them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Then from there we let's nip tool. Nip tool. Under project image. Petra blocks. So I think that is Where, where has it gone to? Oh. Where, where did something has gone to? Um. So I think it got lost, but I didn't see it. But but that that, that is the way how to go about it. Maybe I don't know where to place it, but that is the way to go about it and put numbers here. So that's all for this video. So in the next video, we are going to see how to carry out the spectral analysis on each one of these blocks. Together from there, we do the the depth estimation from the for for the query depth for, to determine the query depth for each of these blocks. Thank you and see you in the next video.